Hi there, Cosmic Family. My name is Elia in this incarnation. Today, I am here to leave a reflection linked with this transit uh, between Venus and Neptune in Pisces and other things too, but especially this transit. And I was laughing before uh, I started this video because yesterday I was totally convinced that it, it was Sunday. Uh, so that's why I uploaded the, the video of the energies of the week. And um, these this transits with Neptune ha have great implications in my natal chart. I am dealing with them since the Pisces season uh, because I, I have this tendency to be in the, in the stratosphere and I, I have to double work to do to, to stay grounded and I don't consume anything. So uh, I wanted to leave this reflection uh, of this transit because it is very beautiful and I think it is rebalancing the energy that we are having from the clips, you know, the Sun in Aries, Mercury in Aries, the North Node in Aries, and that is asking us to, to take decisions, uh, focusing in what our individualities need at the present moment, uh, although uh, Mercury is, is uh, ready to, to be a retrograde, but either way, uh, we will have to take decisions with, uh, with uh, you know, the, the energy of the clips. And this presence of Chiron in areas that is inviting us to express our identities with all the colors and all the painful experiences that brought us brought us brought us here, um, because they are part of who we are in this present moment. And with Chiron, it, it is about facing the fear of being who we are. And obviously, not everyone is going to like who we are, but just simply being. Uh, we connect with uh, the people that we have to connect. And beyond this this thing about the, the resonance that I, I think is something very valid, you know, to feel resonance or not with, uh, with things or people or situations, uh, I think it is also important, this practice of not no, no judgment, uh, uh, not only with people, also with situations, which is something very, very deep, because when we start to detect you know, the times that, that our mind is um, doing these judgments, this happens all the time, <laughs> all the time. So taking ourselves to neutrality is a very challenging practice, actually. <clears throat> so, well, with this accumulation of Aryan energy in the sky, this, this could be channeled as excessive focus in our desires and then the consideration with others could be like, uh, you know, uh, on the other side, this this looking for the middle point, the agreement with others that responds to the energy of Libra. Well, um, it is like we are maybe we, we could not put uh, too much focus there. And, um, you know, being Libra, the south node, the the agreement or, or looking for agreement cannot be born from um, renouncing to who we are. Uh, in order to be condescendent with others from a distortion, uh, clearly. We've been talking a lot about this. But this transit between Venus and Neptune in Pisces is, is opening ourselves to, to the empathy and also to, to make a certain giving, you know, uh, something that can collaborate with others or with the collective. And yesterday I was talking about the, the, the art, because I think artists... Uh, beyond the, my own affinity with, with the arts, um, artists have a, a very, very important function in, in society, especially the ones that are, you know, in a, in a path of consciousness. And the function they have is not more or less important than that of each soul. But they are a conduit to connect all of us because they, they are capable of um, traducing what have no words in something that can touch hearts or to put uh, in words in the case of poetry or the lyric of a song uh, what we are feeling so to know and to feel that we all go through pain uncertainty happiness um, fear anger you know all the all the things that uh, are linked with transiting this plane as humans uh, well, I think this, these things unite us. This creates unity. And this is the kind of connection that, uh, you know, Venus and, and Neptune is inviting us to, to, to bring 
in its high vibration. This is about realizing that we are all channels of light, bringing that light and, and to give that light and to give that light to ourselves too. Um, and as I said, this energy could be used in the co-creation of our dreams. Um, but with Neptune and the, and the Piscean energy, we have to be very careful, especially for the people that have uh, important positions in, in their natal chart of uh, Neptune or Pisces. Uh, it is very important to take care, um, to be careful, sorry, uh, that the, the dreams... Uh, not transform, not turn, to not turn the dreams into uh, idealized fantasies of the reality, because uh, <laughs> the 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 soulmate, you know, the dream flame could appear, uh, and at the first conflict that manifests, then uh, this brings a, a a big disappointment, because the the experience is not adjusting to the illusion that in reality is coming from this. Uh, wounded inner child that uh, didn't um, find out how to feel at home in, in, in himself or herself. And it is looking for something or someone to give that, uh, that to, to obtain that sensation that can only come from this inner journey. And I think that, you know, experiences outside are also helping, are also, sorry, part of the journey. But, uh, um, well, the, the soul at the same time is always impulsing us to to this return to the um, infinite source of light. But the more the more I walk, the more I think that um, inhabiting this that we are right now experimenting what we are experimenting without wanting to run, you know, no matter if we are experimenting deep pain, deep uncertainty, deep fear, or deep joy. Uh, is what opens that door because all the possible states of the being, they always happen in the present moment. So I just wanted to leave this reflection today. Thank you everyone and see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.